Welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Goodell, Henry Eyes, Ninja Muffin, and Real Faction. You're listening to the Newgrounds Podcast. I'm Goodell, and I'm joined in the studio today by... Henry Eyes! My name is Henry I- Actually, it's Henry Evil, yes. Uh, the E stands for evil. And I am Ninja Muffin 99 also known as Cam, also known as producer on Old Grounds Patrol. And I'm your worst nightmare! <laughs> no, really, I'm Real Faction, and I'm the, the realist. Um, I don't have to stand up because I'm the only one. He's the realest faction. No fake factions allowed. He's the realest faction I've ever known. Yeah. This is the third episode of the Newgrounds podcast. Thank you yes. for everybody joining Yay. us live in the Discord server. It's great. We got a great turnout, oh, yeah. and it's been good turnouts for the last three episodes. If you're listening to this not in the live version, definitely come join our Discord. You suck. It's Fake fun fan. in here. It's good. It's good in here, <laughs> and I promise that we will not be as mean to you as Henry Eyes and Real Faction make it sound like we will. Yeah. It, uh, it's good. It's it's all good in here. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. We're going to start this episode off with some breaking news, breaking Newgrounds news. So we're going to turn it over to Real Faction. Tell us about the news. Newgrounds news. In today's news, Tom Fulp announced that Pico Day will be on Saturday, May 9th of this year. For all those who don't know, you know, everyone pretty much knows if you know Newgrounds. It's a celebration of uh, Newgrounds and Tom Fulp's birthday. So for, if you're submitting for Pico Day for art, uh, you get like $200 for first place and then other prizes for like top five. And Newgrounds has recently crossed 2,900 active supporters, almost 3,000. Yeah, if we make yeah. it, we're going to get... You're gonna get places, boys. We're gonna, uh, yeah. Oh, by the Top way, of the world. speaking of places, site updates. The PM system, uh, the messaging system, is currently going under an update. So if there's any kind of uh, glitches, thanks to a uh, psychotic goldfish swimming around your screen, then crazy. you know who to blame. Crazy guy, goldfish. Yeah. DM him. Yeah. Sorry, give Josh. Him your shit. <laughs> no, but really, message him or Tom if you come across any errors. That's what I do. I just give them a list of bugs and they'll fix it. And call That's them usually how dumb programmers. Say that you can do better. <laughs> Say I can. I'm a better programmer than you. You <laughs> dumb programmer. Say why didn't you make the site in Scratch? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you no, create the site in C Sharp? No, but seriously, um, this is mostly for the mobile-friendly layout, so this is ma- mainly what this update's for. The list of pages on the old layout's gotten really short, and they're looking forward to the transition being complete. I read that straight off, because uh, I'm a robot. Also, if you haven't seen it, go check out the new footage of the Alien Hominid Invasion. You get the first look at it. It is sort of a reimagination, but also a multiplayer uh, online experience kind of version, uh, arena style of uh, Alien Hominid. It's... It's basically touching up on the original. It's pretty interesting if you want to go uh, check that out. There's a lot of news, so to kind of skim through the schedule, uh, I'll make a short version of this, uh, just to blast through this uh, as fast as possible. About the PM system, in the future... Oh, well, they're working on the new text editor on the mobile-friendly version, by the way. I did forget that part. Um, the mobile-friendly version will have the new text editor format your posts and messages, but in the mes- in the messages themselves, you will not be able to add pictures, so keep that in mind. Uh, Josh told me to say that. The Newgrounds OC original character uh, animation competition deadline was the 26th, started by Fro himself in December as a part of a multi-layer contest, sort of a multi-part contest to bring out the original, uh, an original Newgrounds animation with original characters. And this leg of the series is supposed to pump out a trailer based on the previous winners in the writing and audio section. The winner receives $100. Uh, So whoever's participated, good luck. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, And then they're going to join a team of animators to make the uh, final final product. It's been kind of a big effort, so that's going to be exciting. And they're going to be looking for uh, sponsoring uh, backing. So that's going to be some financial gain for whoever wins that. Uh, Bad Twins announced the reanimated collab that's resident evil re for the opening movie of uh, the original Capcom game uh, classic resident evil. There will be 65 plus scenes to animate, so it's going to be big. And for anyone joining uh, the collab, if you're interested, look at his latest post to sign up before the end of March. Um, Robot Day. Robot Day is once again going to be approaching us soon. August 26th to be exact. 
Mind Chamber is hosting his famous Newgrounds original holiday once again while redesigning his iconic mascot robot. He'll be judging art, animation, and games. Uh, audio, not so much this year, but if the turnout is lean, he's also going to be judging those. I don't know if he's giving out prizes for those or not, but if you want to check that out, check out his latest um, blog post, or you can check it out on the front page. There's a link to the uh, post. You know, but just don't let that stop you. Just uh, submit a song for the fun anyway. There's lots of cool yeah, robots. Yeah, lots of cool machinery, industrially songs that gotta pop out. One person oh, yeah. who... Gotta bring the industrial. Uh, was it Quarrel? I don't know if she posted like for Robot Day or Pico Day, but yes. she makes cool little yes, she did. You know, machiney beats. Yeah, Corey's a friend of mine. She makes some good stuff. She also yeah, beatboxes yeah, really well. On those. That's a marketable skill. Absolutely. Now there's plenty of time between now and then, but this is a good time to start on your animations and games. So for uh, oh, and uh, two hundred dollars for first place for the top and uh, prizes for the top three entries for the most categories. I think. Maybe audio, but I don't know. But go check his post, like I said, and you'll find out the uh, details. And finally, this is sort of a brief, nothing definite yet. But from what I've heard, the art-inspired music contest, which I personally started in 2013 with Firna, is supposedly happening again this year. We don't know when, but keep an eye out on the audio forums for uh, the official date. And the Newgrounds audio deathmatch should be happening as well. So uh, more details to be released in the soon future. And that, after a long breath of air that I haven't <laughs> taken yet, is the news. Yeah. Audio contest, let's have I'd like to uh, <sighs> I'd like to roll it back a little bit uh, to talk about one of the things that um, that I think is kind of a big deal. Pico Day this year, once again for the the Pico Day competition on Newgrounds, is only art yes. again. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're not we're not getting movie submissions or game for, for prizes. Or, I mean, for we prizes. might get those for things. Prizes. No prizes. Yeah, right, right. We 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 might get oh, those why? things. And I would I would still say I encourage you all to do exactly. those things. You know, still do <laughs> Pico Day animations and games. But yeah, we're, there's no uh, the reason for, for that. Like, no. And uh, this is in last year's uh, news post uh, when the prizes were announced. Uh, apparently, it's becoming increasingly more uh, awkward introducing uh, new new grounders uh, to Pico. Uh, and it's I don't know. I I that, that's what he said in his news post, which I can sort of understand. Many people uh, still haven't played the original uh, games and whatnot. But uh, last year, last year there there was a decent amount of uh animations just out of the love like uh, as soon as we heard that uh me and a few other people wanda boy uh even uh, nin our our house yeah. owned ninja muffin <laughs> was a, a a writer i guess uh, yeah we all made a dumbass little pico day cartoon yeah i wish we'd have put in more effort uh and then there's also uh destructeen uh, who made pico and me pico and me i still recommend watching pico and me it's uh, it's about Pico and uh, Dad. Dad from Dad and Me. No, it's yeah, Dad from Dad right. and Me. And it brings Newgrounds and Pico back to its roots. Another thing is, like, there was, like, uh, for the past year or two, three years maybe, like, the especially the games for Pico Day, they've very much been been starving in the in the game scene for pico day like uh the last year that they had prizes for games like i i made a dumbass game and got got some coin but that was only like out of three people like three people made games so anyone who made a game got money man is everybody forgetting about pico <sighs> everyone's you know who pico it. is well, that's it's Pico Awareness Month. Well, see, that's the thing is like at, at this point, it's all just about celebrating new grounds, not so much celebrating yeah. Pico as a character. Yeah. Maybe Tagman should replace it. Well, see, I have to wonder if maybe that kind of flies over some people's heads because it is called Pico Day. Um, like, obviously, in the news mm -hmm. posts, Tom explains like, "Hey, you know, just just make something about anything that you like on new grounds. You know, your favorite new grounds characters. It doesn't doesn't have to be." It, and not only does it not have to be like Pico or or Dad or you know any of those old characters, it can be like yeah, new anything stuff too. New uh, you know, su Sublone exactly. Tangy Mustard or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, should it just so, be called Newgrounds Day? I think it should be called yeah. Newgrounds Day. I, I think I, I really do. like that's basically or, or something to that effect. Rebranded. Honestly, I think for the sake of branding, uh, shout out to Tom for this suggestion. I think 
as controversial of a change that would be, I think for any newcomers, I think it would be less confusing and more so uh, promoting. And that would probably like change the shift in, you know, the fluctuations with the, the submissions, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because sometimes, like, for instance, if people don't know what Pico is and you say Pico Day, they're going to be like, they, they always give the same reaction. What, what's Pico Day? And you sort of, as soon as you start explaining it, then they're absolutely yeah. into it. They're like, oh, man, I... I a, a day about homegrown new ground stuff that yeah. is that is delicious everyone wants yeah have you guys they know seen that technical day video what is pico day it kind of this is oh god yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't that an old one i love that video <laughs> yeah i remember that i remember it's that one yeah pico day experience if you get invited to the party let's keep it going we've been talking <laughs> about pico day for a pico long day time important. so that wraps up the news let's go ahead and turn it over to henry eyes for live oh, on the front yes. page Live from the front page. My name is Henry E. Yes. The E stands for evil. And ladies and gentlemen, the beer has been opened. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So, uh, I'm actually one hour off, uh, or uh, an hour ago, I was on the front page. Me, Henry Eyes. Whoa. Undeservingly okay. so. Okay. Okay, talk about yourself more, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to talk about myself. <laughs> um, I had this uh, this submission, oh. May. I actually, I had, uh, I, okay, here's the story. I had 10 beers and two shots of uh, chili vodka from 30 years ago. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. and I uploaded this submission, this li- little animation of a lady, uh, uh, May from Gunsmith Cats, uh, turning her head and looking down and uh, smiling and whatnot. And I just, ty- I, I, I was too drunk, I couldn't sink, so I just uh, typed in, I'm drunk. And then in the description, I'm drunk. And then I uploaded it, because I knew that I wasn't gonna work on it anymore. And it got it got front page, and, and then I remembered in the morning, this is one of the first times I woke up drunk. Uh, <laughs> that it was uh, on the front page, and then I, I then I called it drunk. I put something that's just called drunk with the description drunk, and it's on the front page. But uh, thank you very much to whoever put that on the front page. My second uh, news from the front page, and I'm going to start with art, obviously, <laughs> since I already uh, shoved myself in there. You know, I, I need to I need to ride this one for I need to ride this high as long as possible because God knows when I'll ever get front paged again. New grounds promoting no, uh, alcoholism. <laughs> Yeah, after I got drunk, then I got high from getting front page. Anyway, second person I really wanted to promote <laughs> is um, Mickles NG. He made a neat, lovely little drawing about uh, Ritz. I still love the 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 Ritz. What's Ritz? What's Ritz? Ritz? What's what's Ritz? You haven't heard of Ritz? Listen to me. Okay, last uh uh last uh, news episode uh we I, or i mentioned that i couldn't finish uh the game i couldn't get the last and when i say finish the game i didn't mean uh just just finished it i mean getting all the medals which requires you to get 55 pieces of cheese uh, and i said it was too hard listen to me i grinded and the game really grew on me i got uh the the last pieces of cheese and whatnot and i got the medal in any case uh Mikkel made a nice piece of fan art for this game uh he posted it to twitter uh weeks ago I wanted to bug him uh, about uploading it to Newgrounds. I, was, I just didn't want to didn't want to annoy him, but I'm glad he got around. I saw this one a second ago too. I I really like it. One thing that I think is really neat about this is like the texturing on the drawing. Yeah, like, retro. You know, it's got that like almost like comic oh, yeah, book yeah, 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 like, tones or whatever stippling on it. I'm it's still hungry for another rich like game. I keep I actually go back to the game and and play it through. I it's yeah. really. Uh, improved my reflexes. Another thing I'd like to report that is on the front page is Artil's uh, Artil's drawing um, or illustration, uh, Interstellar Ice Cream. If you know who uh, Makoto Shinkai is, uh, famous anime director, this very much goes after his style, especially if you've seen uh, Voices of a Distant Star. Uh, it's a it's a Voices of a Distant Distant Star is a low budget uh, anime movie, but. In any Beautiful. case, uh, very much looks like it's inspired by that. It always makes me happy to see sort of uh, porn artists making stuff that isn't porn. Like every time I see some porn from Artel, I'm like, yeah, this is cool. But every time he makes something that isn't porn, I'm absolutely in love with that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Tell him to stop making porn. You yeah, stop yeah, it. Yeah. You stop it. Cut stop that it, out, Artel. You. Stop earning a living. <laughs> stop it. Yeah. Artel. Artel's worth keeping an eye on because he's been posting a lot. He's been away from Newgrounds for a while, right? And so now he's posting like a bunch of his stuff from the, the archives. Like this one. Yeah, this one yeah. says it's from 2017. So, you know. I absolutely love that. People, Ooh. So many people come back to Newgrounds after having been there a long time ago. And Artel, he's had a big 
amount of time to improve on his art and i i, I just love uh all of his stuff even even the porn stuff there's i don't know it's 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 not like the normal smut it's art it's art <laughs> it's art in any uh, case yeah 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 uh next uh art uh i don't want to go on talking too much about every every piece because every as you know you have to look at these pieces of art to really because you know a yeah, piece of art is uh, where a sounds word so next one is uh from heavy pixels uh sky city and it it's it's uh he writes it in the description but it's very obviously alita battle angel inspired uh it's about a city in the sky i don't know what else to say to that so i i get it earthy orange tones yeah so, so I'm, I move. I Looks kind of like Newgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly, slightly. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's sort of the Newgrounds city derelict vibe, which it reminds me a lot of sort of yeah. early 2000s or mid 2000s or mid to late 2000s Newgrounds uh, vibes. Yeah. But it reminds me of the time I enjoyed my life. <laughs> huh. The good old days. I'm not going to say I had a good time around that time, but uh, Newgrounds sure was something back then. <laughs> okay. So moving on to the movies on the front page. Uh, I'm all obviously only going to pick just a, a smaller amount of everything. Uh, I have to to shout out our homegrown, and I don't know if this is shouting out, if he's already on the front page, uh, Wave Tro. Wave Tro, yeah. Uh, yeah. His... Wave Tro. Oh, yeah, as he is named. I'm he sorry. got featured again. Yeah, yeah, Plus. yeah. Spanish class. It's about his, uh, it's about this teacher. Uh, he's a substitute Spanish teacher. His name is, uh, Mr. Steiner. And for those of you who don't know, uh, in German, Steiner means, uh, stoner. Anyway, next one I got a shout out is from Etan. I, I don't know how to say his name in not a Jamaican, a Jamaican accent. And also, Dieter. They made this, both of them made this fighter. Uh, it's, um, it, it's a, a little, little music video. It's the kind of cutesy, shit that makes me perfectly sick so i'm gonna i'm gonna move on from this one and go to our next one this next uh movie submission is called cam a little it's about a, a, a guy uh and his journey to become a knight Ooh, this looks good uh it, it quite frankly is something uh it starts off as a bit of a uh reality tv show in a way i don't know if I can say that. Here is the Sleep Tight by Meat Canyon. Yes. It's about it's about a mother. Oh no. She loves her child. She loves her child. Don't worry. And this about one, it. this Mr. one, Uncanny Valley is back at it again. This one has a guest voice by Canyon. YouTuber Gus Johnson, which I very much am a big fan of. Good old Gus. And this, if I don't know who that is. <laughs> If you like me, can you also go check out Gus Johnson? He cool. He cool. He voiced the mom in this one. So uh, at at what point? Do you think that Wavetro will surpass Meat Canyon? Golden as Boy, Newgrounds's. They're both the Golden baby. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love both. It's of a them. tight but, race. Wavetro, yeah, Wavetro. I've I, that guy's going places. I'm saying it now. Yeah, both both of them have just been hitting it. You know, each each little thing hitting the yeah. palate. <laughs> yeah, top of the front page every single time. God bless them. Love those okay, boys. Okay, so. The next uh, uh, sh uh, thing on the front page is Orange Trick. And if you couldn't tell that I'm constantly turning away to read my notes, the only notes that I wrote on this one is uh, just look at the faces, man. Okay. <laughs> So look at the faces. It's a it's a neat little <laughs> little thing. I can't stop watching it. I constantly rewatch it. It's so delicious. I'm looking at the thumbnail yeah. and I'm listening to your voice and I'm like, it looks like you're voicing it. It is. It is. It, it looks is like something. something <laughs> orange. It matches trick your voice. By glass cake. Orange trick by glass cake. Everyone go watch it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Next one. Next one. It's like you could voice that guy. Oh man, oh man, I I love it. I love it. There's few lines, but it's very much a visual thing. I just love the the way the characters are drawn, the way they move, the way their faces look. It's you have to experience it. If you're listening if in, if you're listening to this podcast, consider, you know, I don't want to send you away, but consider <laughs> watching that. It's link in the Nightmare Fuel podcast. Exactly. Come back. Uh, next submission on the front page is uh, Jabba nine nine two. He made uh, a, a little little movie called I Have to Go Very Fast. It's about Sonic. Uh, that's that's all you need to know. <laughs> Moving on to the games, uh, the problem. Okay, uh, the problem is the uh, reporting on the games. A lot of the stuff is still on there from the Phaser Game Jam, or yeah. is on there from January still. The game seems uh, which, starving. 
not too much. I, fresh. I mean, got, that's got kind of a good summary. Some of the some of the games on there just deserve to be on there uh, as long as they do. Yeah. Um, but but some of the some of the the one game that I did want to shout out is uh, this game about dueling. It's called The Ballad of Benny Blue, and it's by uh, Levy Ramirez. Le- Levy Ramirez. Okay, fuck. I really liked this one. Le- it's probably Levi, Levi. Ramirez. Yeah, Levi, Levi Ramirez. Yeah. <laughs> Levy. Levy, same shit, whatever. <laughs> this game, this game's great, and was also posted in Ooh. our Discord server, in the in the games channel, by, uh, by the creator. Shout out to Levi, uh, shout out to Levi. <laughs> anyway. But I, yeah, I can. Yeah, fantastic game. I really enjoyed Same here, that same one. here. I can feel my reflexes getting better, so it's it's about how dueling you sort of have to time the, the shot, right? It. I I recommend it, uh, sort of giving it a little play. It's also nice to sort of see the scoreboard. You know how high can you score? Can you make it into the top uh, ten? Because I sure as fuck can't. <laughs> I I got f- like fourteen milliseconds yeah. every single uh, time. Oh yes, same here. You can sort of see like like where where you're at. I'm always at sixteen, and then I slowly got better. It slowly went to fifteen. Like uh, you know, it sort of warms up your reflexes. And I love games like that. Maybe it's because I've been playing a lot more games recently. I usually do not play as many video games. Um, You've been yeah, it's a neat li- neat little game. Yeah. Uh, the next game is called Extraordinary by Airdorf, and it's based on a movie that hasn't even come out yet. It come the movie comes out on the sixth of March. I believe I don't know much about this movie, uh, but this this game is about uh, collecting ectoplasm. It's a very fucking weird game. Very fucking weird game. If you play it, you you've under- you understand that something something's up there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, is this like a fan game or or like? I I'm not sure. I've been trying to find out, but it's a, a very very interesting interesting game in a way. I don't know. I don't know. Not. <laughs> No, it, it's not very gameplay intensive, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, still cool, still worth it. Art game. Now, okay, uh, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna move on to our next game, Laser Penguin Spring Break. Now, it says, listen no, it's to me. Penguin, penguin, not penguin. Fuck. Okay. Li- laser fuckwing uh, no. spring break. It's about a pig uh, who shoots stuff. And it's like uh, what's that bubble game? Classic bubble game where you shoot bubbles and you make them explode and shit. Bu- bubble trouble. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I. Uh, but it's 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 sort of a bubble neat battle, little game. Battle, but I noticed I that uh, Miss Moonified, and if you don't know who Miss bubble, Moonified bubble. is, she she does sort of uh, more porn voice acting. Yeah. Uh, she's everywhere. I swear to God. So I saw uh-huh, her and I, I saw the M is. rating, and it's sort of it's like a completely normal game it was like uh, slightly looter voice acting or whatever, which I'm completely fine with. It's it it's just it's more hilarious than you know. Yeah hot or anything <laughs> but... just for goofs just for little jokes or maybe it's not yeah. i don't know i don't want to say that and <laughs> so that you can jerk off while playing you only need one hand to play it you don't yeah need they, they knew what they were doing God okay knows. that's that's called game design if you like jerking off to pigs <laughs> shooting rocks in space this is the perfect here. game <laughs> newgrounds.com the train Let's of thought see. has been derailed <laughs> Anyway, that is that is, that is everything. That is, and uh, as always, all the other stuff is absolute trash and shit, and you should not yeah, even look don't, at it. Only look at the front page on Newgrounds. Don't look at anything else. Cool. So that uh, that was Henry I's report on the front page. Thank you, Henry. Yes. You're welcome. Moving on, we've got a special segment for this episode that we're calling "This Day in NG History." We're gonna pass it over to Real Fashion. Oh. <clears throat> On this day in NG history, though not the exact day, February 23rd, 2005, Tom Fulp first announced the development of the system that we know today are as the monthly top five submission. Or, you know, the monthlies. Monthly submissions would receive prizes, though it was a bit stricter only for high ranks artists and high level users back at that time, so it wasn't as accessible as it is today. Around that time also, he was also considering converting Newgrounds to a higher resolution, but this wouldn't happen until 2006 the following year. And that was this day in history for Newgrounds. What was that, 2005, 2006? How long ago was that? Five years. Uh, 14 years ago. 14, 15. 14, 15, yeah. Newgrounds. (laughs) Uh. What the... 
Oh, with the with the old school monthly voting, it's a it's like high ranking people only. Is that like for the judging and voting, or what? What was? Yeah, it was for the judging and the voting. It was like uh, like you know how what they do now. If you vote, like you're eligible now. Well, back then you had to be like either a high ranking artist or just a user in general who I guess had a high level. Like I don't know if it was like level twenty, level thirty. Like back when they really utilized so they the uh, experience points and the uh, level ranking yeah. system. Yeah, so they knew you were checking stuff out. So like you, that's what you. I don't know what the exact requirements were. That's what it required for you to like actually vote on what uh to be in the jury to vote on what was considered the uh, top submissions through yeah. uh of the month you've been, you've so, been around a yeah. while real faction do you know about when it started like easing into like you know everyone basically doing voting like when did tom make a news post about it or what did it just you like, know do you know when I, it's there's so much that's happened. I, some of it's kind of blurry, but I want to say, uh, I don't know, maybe between 2008, 2010, I want to say it might have been even more recent than that. But I think I want to say that's when I started seeing uh, something along those lines, but it could have been slightly sooner than that. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. I remember the first time I got like the monthly voting thing. I was like, whoa, I've been, I was hand selected to monthly vote. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized basically everyone everyone gets the voting. Changing the future <laughs> of new grounds. We're gonna move on. So yes. we're gonna do a, a brief segment right here. We're gonna read some reviews from the last episode. The, so the last episode, for anybody who hasn't listened to it, uh, we interviewed Waybatro. Uh and I'd just like to read two or three of these reviews that people have posted. All very nice. Um <laughs> Serbsky says Awaiting Wavetro, not safe for work, feature length skin flicks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good episode and great advice. So Wavetro, as soon as you can uh, start making some smut films, <laughs> they're all really rated yes. M. Thank all you. his his animations are rated <laughs> M because he says the fuck word. Yeah, but now you need to. That's do, like T rated. You need to do these. You need to do the fuck word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> time wave tro silver elix silver elix i don't know exactly how this pronounced said this is literally my new favorite podcast but it also makes me miss sleepy cast oh. uh, to which wave tro responded me too me man too. yeah i think, think everybody feels cast. that way praying <laughs> vudujan said loving this format i loved hearing about wave tro's process your videos are killer dude Thanks for the shout out as well, Goodell. And you're welcome, Fudujan. And I hope that we get to shout out more of your content later on. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on. This next segment is Under the Radar. Hey, you Junior. Do you want a thrilling experience from the darkest depths of the Newgrounds portal? Do you want me to stop calling you Junior because I like to project my elitist, egomaniacal, yet fragile masculinity through correcting the youth of the world? Well, <laughs> too bad. You see... Eat up a dermis, you prick! This is my show now! My name is Jack Sirius, and if you don't know Sirius, you don't know Jack. Today's Under the Radar Pick 2020 Bling Thing Episode 1. Following the adventures of two floating, talking, mutant, hybrid animal sentient being stoners mixed with some seahorse bullshit and a dog squid. Blang and Thang travel through the trashy world of the future where everything's gone to shit to find a drunk old man's bag in a haunted drug house. This series is full of mummies that would give Brendan Fraser a run for his money and scare the Polly Shore out of him. Hey, buddy. Get the hell out of my segment, Polly. Stupid hipster. This two and a half star rated episode deserves more attention. Although the writing and pacing could be better. It's a visually acid tripping masterpiece. Go check out 202059 Blank Thing Episode 1. Now playing on Newgrounds. And this isn't made for kids, it's rated M for mature, so you have been warned. Don't smoke the death stick, kids. Go suck on a nun's tit until you're old enough. This is Jack Sirius signing off. Back to you. God bless. God bless. God bless. Don't check out that thing. Blank thing. Alrighty, it is time for the next segment. This segment is, of course, the audience participation game. Now, uh, this this time around, not very many people 
applied, and that's okay. I can understand because, uh, you know, for one thing, I think because this is the first time that we're actually doing this, that a lot of people wouldn't understand exactly how it works. Because they're all pussies. This time around, <laughs> we do have RGP Anims. Ryan, thanks for thanks for coming on. <gasps> ah, not yes. again! Yes. Oh no. Who's this? Ryan RGP Anims RGP special guest. RGP Anims. Oh. Known for the Sonic Mania collab on Newgrounds.com. Yes. What? The Sonic Mania collab? What? I love okay, that whatever. Collab. Get on with the game. Host Goodell. Host <laughs> <Right>. Goodell. <laughs> Time Get this video game. Okay. So All right. Fast. We're doing the game. We're doing the game. Okay. So this is going to be a trivia game, much like what was heard in the first episode of this podcast. Yeah. So we'll I'm going to give up. you three questions, and for each question, you'll have three choices of answers. You got to pick out the right answer. Okay. Um, in the spirit of NG history, since we were talking about this day in NG history earlier. Yes. All of these questions are about Newgrounds history. Ooh. Boy, yo. Here we go. Oh, and uh, also, I'm going to do one thing. To make sure that you don't just go on the uh, Newgrounds history page. Five seconds. And, uh, answer. And search them. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to have 30 seconds. But if you win, so right if after, you win, I'll give you supporter status. Ooh. Because you don't If you have win, it. you're getting supporter status. <laughs> For one month. And if you lose, you have out. to pay. You'll, get, you'll oh. get supporter status, and you're going to get a special role in the Discord server. You're gonna yeah. And if you one. lose. You'll keep that role for two weeks until the next game. If you lose. We'll just straight up beat the crap then out of you. Lost and every, yeah, you get banned. <laughs> if you get banned from the server. Nick, if you just get lose. Nick to just utterly destroy me. God, where do you? You will get bullied. Questions, questions. Okay, Nick. Nick's, Nick says thirty seconds is too long. I'm gonna try fifteen <laughs> seconds. Here we go. Are you ready, Ryan? Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yes, take that as yes. a yes. Here we go. Ooh. Question number one: The audio portal was launched in what year? Was it A. 2001, B, 2003, or C, 2005. Go. Uh, wait, sorry, what were the questions? Uh, the answers? 2001, 2003, or 2005. All right, uh, 2003. That is correct. The Newgrounds Audio Portal yes. was launched in 2003. Yes. clap, clap. Everyone clap. The fucking live chat, hey. motherfuckers! That was the year fucking... I started going to Newgrounds. <laughs> Leaking that shit. All right, all right. Ooh. It'd be like that. <laughs> They're like forcing. In the future, like, in the future, we have to meet up line. so that we give him a roll no, so no, he no. can't see here's, it. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, nobody can send messages in the okay. live chat until Question the game's two. over. Ugh. Also, I don't know if I Stay mentioned this. I don't know if I mentioned Done. this. Um, you got to get two out of three in order to win. So you've already got one point, and there are two more questions. So you're 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 on a roll here. All right. Good chance. Good chance. And uh, 15 seconds for real this time. Here we go. Question number two. We all missed the audio visualizer. What year did it first make its appearance? Was it 2008, 2009, or 2010? Go. Uh, sorry, 2006? Eight, nine, or no, ten? <laughs> 2006 isn't an answer. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. 2008, 2009, 2010. Which one? He's clearly already lost. You have, yeah, you have missed the point on that one. Just hit us with the number. Hit us with the number. 2006. 2006 was not correct. The answer was 2008. Oh, really? All right. You have. You have one out of three points. You've you've got one. You've missed one. This is the last question. The, oh, all the all the money's all riding on this age. one. Oh. Here we go. Big money. Okay. Question three. In early 2016, Newgrounds was flooded with thousands of new accounts as a result of which of the following? Was it A, the great Tumblr migration, B, the great YouTube migration, or C, just some fucking Russian bots? Go. Some, <laughs> some Russian bots. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yeah, you are correct. Woo! In early 2016, Newgrounds was flooded with thousands of Russian know. bots. Wait, really? Yes. Yes, and the staff had to meticulously go I've through the like, Tumblr this. migration <laughs> was in 2018, I know. and the YouTube accounts. migration was 2019, so... Uh, process of elimination. Yeah. yeah. But that's yeah, not actually... Yeah. Cool. I, I remember... See, it was it was the process of elimination, oh, but it's also such won. a bizarre answer. The fact that that's real is, is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can read about that in the in the Newgrounds history on the on the Newgrounds oh. wiki. Mm. Uh Weird stuff, right? Wait, was that all the yeah, porn bots that. that were signing on the site? Oh, <laughs> that shit. They were 
Just like spam accounts, just straight up spam accounts. I yeah. wondered where that was coming from. Uh, just so everybody knows, the chat is back open. Thank you, Ryan. You have won Ooh. in the first audience participation game. You win supporter yeah, status. For one month. And you for win one month, a though, new one month, though, that's One month supporter status. I'm going to buy it for a, for a year. You get a year of what? underground supporter status. Oh, All right, whoa. thanks for being on the show. You're getting muted, by. You're buying it for a month. coming on again. I'm way faster. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'll do it. I'm gonna. He, I'm gonna get a friend here. Anyway, that was. Question. He that was <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Next time. Next time we'll mute the chat first. That was the Newgrounds audience participation game. Yes. Very good. Uh, very yeah. good. We're gonna wrap up this Big show tune in next time with some. Tune in next time. We're no, nah, no. Nah, we're not quite done. We're not quite done. We got personal spotlights. If anybody's got personal spotlights, Let me go start. ahead and throw those out now. Can I start? Go okay, for it. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Fucking cool. Spotlights. Number number one, I would like to shout out this song called Fashion Girl. A friend of mine, Karmit, said that a, a close friend of his, uh, he okay, Karmit, uh, the new grounder, forced a friend of his to make a Newgrounds account to post this amazing song. I really, really give it a listen. It's it's as indie as it gets, in my opinion. Everyone should uh, listen to this oh, fashion yeah. Okay, next thing I'd like to shout out is this here Casca drawing by uh, Jun Gum. Absolutely delicious Casca drawing. I, it's Casca. It's ca what, what else do you want me to say? It's Casca. It's fucking Casca from Berserk. Listen to me. I can't stop talking. Okay. Uh, next shout out. Listen, steer on by uh, Tronix or Tronix or Tron. She's probably yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tronix. Listen, she's a friend of mine. She corrected me on this. I, I know. Yeah, Tronix. It's Tronix I'm trying to pronounce it, pronounce it in the French way, but people also might not know who I'm talking but about I if need. I say it. In anyway, uh, she made she made some. I, I like the color scheme that she's going for. Very very glowy it's hard to oh yeah i, I got to see her, her make though. it she makes it in 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 powerpoint it's it's absolutely fascinating oh yeah yeah she actually wait she was working on in this here discord server in the general vc that's it for my shout outs uh i suck at all of you i'll go next i only i only got a few first of all i'd like to give a shout out to this piece of artwork it is called release the kraken by jay fishburn artworks who i'm a big fan of i always enjoy these like fractal like Ooh. procedurally procedurally influenced Ooh. art i really like this one it's got some sick ocean Ooh. vibes very into it that's cool. it's uh that's yeah that's one of, one of my favorites and then uh shout out to this video this submission to the movies portal called what if coughing and laughing were switched by cheeto and i already loved this before i even watched the video just the title the title is incredible what if coughing and laughing were switched and i was already laughing before i even fucking clicked on the video uh, just, yeah well that's of, like of course, i'm doing of course cheeto is great so uh Worth checking out. And then uh, I, the only other shout out I was going to give, but was already done in the front page, but I'm going to say it again. The Ballad of Benny Blue by Levi Ramirez. Wow. Very cool. Them's my shout outs. Oh, my shout outs. My shout outs. Uh, I don't have anything or any specific submission, but I do want to say a bit of a, a bit rough news. Hyptosis, he is his house burned down. Oh, and it's kind of a bad situation. So y'all. Oh, yeah. Hyptosis is a yeah. user who goes way back, way back to like 2009 or whatever, right when the art portal opened up and he made a bunch of classics, basically. Alice is dead, you know, stuff like that. You know, show him, show him some love. He's... Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a rough... He's the point and clicker guy. Yeah, yeah. It's a... Man, it's a... It's a... He, he's a personal friend of mine and like, I, I, I'm, on, I'm on his server and like when he told us that, I was like devastated. He showed us pictures and I, uh, I believe he has some pictures on his... Uh, New Grounds. New Grounds p news post. It's just yeah, devastating. Really the is. whole garage is just like gone. And he lost his cat. He lost yeah. his car. He lost his garden tools. The works, man. But he, he did say that he will recover from this. His insurance is covering, I think, most of it. But, uh, so he, he and his, um, he and his lady will be okay. Uh, so, I mean, that's yeah, he's generally said, he's what said. he said. But he does need a lot of emotional support. But he surprisingly, He's a tough cookie. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, cause he he he's done a a lot. He's been through a lot. I I can just tell you that now. So yeah, show him some love. All right. I'm. I said I would go last, so here I go. Um, I got just a few small ones. First is uh, you know, I'm the I'm an audio guy. I'm a musician. That's what I do. So I'm gonna give you a couple songs here. Uh, this one's kind of one of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, generally Forgotten Dawn is my favorite Newgrounds artist in terms of music, and I'm also yeah, like good friends with guy. him. 
but but so i'll give him a shout out in general but one of my absolute favorite songs aside from his work is something called uh baby got me fired up by agent orange xx which is if you love george clinton or any old parliament like atomic dog or like um you know that those old funk hits that they made that are just really famous you've probably heard them like uh what was the name of that one song that everyone knows i don't know but yeah go check it out it's got like talk box action in it it's like funkadelic yeah. it's uh it's really cool you should go listen to it the next one is equinox by lawn reality if you like beautiful soft i don't know orchestral music i guess it's 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 a lovely piece he always makes some wonderful work uh and finally red Ri- this one's a classic i'm gonna tell you right now this one is was one of my first favorites on newgrounds all the way back from 2004 i started going the site in 2003 but this this guy's work, uh, it's, it's Red Riding Hood by Grand Falloon. Um, you know, Jerry, he's a great, great animator known for uh, the Legend of the Real Legend of Zelda series, I think it's called. Um, it's like it's like Zelda parodies, and he's really good at those, but he makes a lot of great work in general. And this was actually the first time I heard like the, the Saw theme song, <laughs> and I didn't know what it was. I'm like, what is this music? So, so, uh, you know, then I started watching the Saw films, but, uh, Red Riding Hood is actually a twist on the original, uh, ner- I don't know, what do you call it? A fairy tale fable? I don't know. The, the old children's tales. Friends, yeah. Friends, yeah. Something like that. Tales, yeah. But it's a twist. Yeah. And he did a lot. He was one of the animators that really revolutionized Flash animations back then. Um, Like a lot of the stuff that people were doing were very basic compared to what he was doing. Like people like him and um, Adam, Adam Phillips were like just dominating the game way back in the day with the, you know, Flash animation and what's actually possible given how heavy, how heavy some of uh, their work was. And I was just like, whoa, this was made in 2004. And sure, it may not have like aged the best, but for 2004, this was like a masterpiece. So yeah, go check out Red Riding Hood by Grand Falloon. It's it's great, wonderful twist. You'll never see it coming. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. Still a classic, one of my all time favorites. Go check it out. And that's it for uh, my shout outs, spotlights. So that brings us to the end of the episode. Especially thank you to everybody who was here in the live episode. Thank you, RGP Anims. You're getting a year of supporter status right after this episode is done recording. Make sure, if you are not already, to get in our Discord server. We have a lot of fun in here. We'll see you all next time. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds Podcast. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Join us at bit.ly slash ngpdiscord. Long live Newgrounds.